this courtesy of what is it the daily mail is the daily mail yeah daily mail uh, we've got this amazing article here portrait of a tough guy and again this is maybe daily mail just being inflammatory Portrait of a tough guy. Conor McGregor is flanked by four bodyguards, including one who carries his alcohol spritz for him as he holds a room with his fiance D. Devlin. Right? Conor looks fucking amazing. Right? This is him walking through the streets of Rome, kind of owning that sector with obviously three massive flipping bodyguards who all look like they can fight. Right? They look like they can fight or grapple. They don't look like the bodyguard you'd find outside a sketch or something. Right? They look like they can actually handle themselves. But the headline is quite misleading because it says here portrait of a tough guy which basically insinuates that connor isn't really tough and because he needs so much security to walk around the streets of rome it, when in all actuality considering um connor's recent um outburst in social media in public and just generally how he's been carrying himself the last few years it's actually more so to protect um him from others because they know how he can get they know how agitated and irritated he can get they know how self-destructive he can be too he's got that He's got that John John Jones button, right, somewhere in him that he can press and just kind of go completely hell for leather. So those security guards are not there to protect him. They're there to protect himself from the fans, right, more so. Um, it's not an actual, oh, we're going to stop threats coming in because, you know, it's Conor McGregor, right? He can basically beat up most people in the world, right? Um, uh, you know, of course, when you don't factor in size and kind of weapons and all that shit. But it's more so to protect Conor from the crowd and from the public to saying, especially somebody walks up to him, and it's a Khabib fan and says Hamdulillah or something. I don't know. You know what I mean, you don't want him to go flipping ape shit. So that's the reason why I do it, especially when he's out with his missus. It just doesn't make any sense. But these security guards are absolute units, and with the exception of this guy, right, who probably is the most dangerous one here, but they're all absolute units. Like, especially this guy at the back, he legitimately looks like an extra in a movie or something. Look at him. Fucking hell. And they're all dressed in nine, suited and booted. I'm sure he put them in his suits that he designs or something along those kind of lines. But yeah. I wonder where you find these people. I'm sure there's a service you use, right? It says hire people, security guards, there's ilk, and they put down their stats and shit. You know? And you've got to be a certain size, you've got to be a certain build. Crazy. And then walking through the streets of Rome, looking, look at the crowd he commands, man. Like, he's a real superstar, isn't it? And this is why you know you're a superstar because he's lost, what? He hasn't won a fight in years, isn't it, right? And he's still commanding this level of attention. That's when you know you're a real superstar. That's when you know people really give a fuck about you. And that's how you know you've kind of transcended your sport. Where you can still kind of garner this sort of reaction and crowd response from people. Especially in a country that you wouldn't necessarily say people... You wouldn't think people would know Connor that well in Italy. Do you know what I mean? But, you know, look at look at where she's looking at him. Like an absolute snack. <laughs> and he's carrying his drink from here at the front. Apple spritz. That that's the life, isn't it? I love that kind of life for celebrities or people of that kind of ilk where you go into a shop and you just pick up you pick up your glass and you just walk out. You don't even ask if you can take it. You just walk and take it with you. No kind of request made. Do you know what I mean? You just keep it moving and they're actually honored that you'll take one of their glasses with them. They don't actually complain. Whereas people like myself, back in the day you'd kind of sneak a pint glass into a bag and hope you can take that home with you, right? Um, but yeah, it's massive. Look at keeping all the crowds away, a cr keep a circle around him. Someone here recording, it looks like. I guess recording evidence just in case something happens. So if, if, if somebody does something stupid, they've got their angle that they can obviously share in terms of protecting him from a lawsuit. He's doing that thing that people do when they're hench. They always kind of lift up their shirt, touch their belly so you can see their flat stomach and shit. But he looks like a unit, innit? He looks like he's been, he, he's been on the, he's been on the pounded yam. He looks fucking wham, bruv wide as hell look at him jesus christ he's got a ridiculously big head in it you don't really notice it in the ring but for somebody so short and small he's got a really big head maybe that's why he's probably made for fighting in it like this this corner this kind of triangle of his head and his neck is kind of really stamped in in it not a lot of room or wiggle room that goes on around there but yeah look at the fans man absolutely crazy oh yeah oh, this is instagram account they're posting on there insane bruv insane but yeah big up connor um out there in rome living a life of luxury lips and the missus on the back of a cab you know how it is, isn't it you know the vibes you know the vibes